Welcome to Natural Styles, styling options for your natural hair. Sponsored by Sharpen Your Skills Continuing Education at Salon, I'm your host, Ayaba Griffin. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can embrace your shrinkage by styling your hair in a teeny weeny afro. So, I style my hair this way when it's raining outside, when it's hot, when it's humid, um, when I know that I'm going to be uh, doing things that is going to be causing me to perspire or sweat, like exercising or, you know, I'm just going to be outside a lot and um, it's hot and humid. I go ahead and embrace my shrinkage and I wear my hair in a teeny weeny afro. Instead of me trying to fight against what my hair does naturally, I just save myself a lot of um, frustration, <laughs> okay, by not shaping my hair or styling my hair in styles that are not going to stay or hold in wet, moist, hot, humid, or sweaty <laughs> conditions. So, um, I am going to be using the DNA Defining um, Custard for my product. I'm going to be using um, my dimming brush for my hairline and my pick. And you have a towel on hand so that you can be able to wipe your hands off as needed. So I'm going to start off by putting in the coiling custard, the defining custard, and the consistency of this product is um, not as thick as a gel and not as watered down as a setting lotion. So it's like a glaze. And um, I'm just going to apply it on my hair really well, work it in from the root. all the way to the ends to have some definition to my curl pattern. And it also uh, helps to keep uh, my hair really soft too. So I'm going to work that through, massage it in, Now I'm going to take my dimming brush and just, you know, brush my hairline a little bit. I'm going to kind of wear my teeny weeny afro um, a little bit back off of my face. And then I'm going to take my pick and I'm just going to lift it up just a little bit because it's going to settle down anyway because of the conditions that my hair are going to be in or you know hot humid wet moist I also do this a lot too when um, I've just shampooed my hair and I know that I maybe don't have the time or maybe don't want to spend the time to do other types of styling to my hair. I'll just go ahead and shampoo and condition my hair and I'll put my products in. I know it's going to shrink up and I'll just go ahead and embrace my shrinkage and let my hair do what it naturally does and wear a teeny weeny afro. And sometimes I'll, I'll do that, you know, for the first, you know, one to three days after I shampoo and condition my hair. I'll just, you know, shampoo, condition, put my products in and go. And so I don't go through the whole thing of, you know, just trying to pick it completely out. You 
really just trying to get the hairs in place. And I want it to look neat. I tuck mine behind my ear. You know, you may want to let your hair cover your ears. Whatever you want to do, your own personal style, your own personal expression with your teeny weeny afro. And I always try to make it look as neat as possible. Because just because I am embracing my shrinkage, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have to look neat. I can still look neat and professional and embrace my shrinkage with my teeny weeny afro. And how small your teeny weeny afro is depends on the length of your hair. It may be smaller than mine. It really depends on how long your hair is and your curl pattern. Because some people experience a lot of shrinkage. Some people just experience a little bit of shrinkage with their hair when it comes in contact with water and moisture and humidity. It really you know depends on those factors and if you use a um, a defining custard like I just did or a curling cream those are the types of products that, that are going to help to curl that hair up even more so if I'm going to wear my teeny weeny afro I usually use a a product that's going to really you know define my curl pattern and curl that hair up even more since that's what I'm looking to do is embrace my shrinkage it's very quick very easy to do especially if you don't have a whole lot of time you know in your day you may be a busy 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 person <laughs> and you just want to embrace your shrinkage this is also good if you have to wear a hat and you still want to wear your afro and you can get your hair you know where it's smaller and closer to your head and get that hair to go underneath that hat if you have to hair or have to wear one so I'm just going to turn around so that you can see the back and the sides of my head and there you have it the teeny weeny afro it's quick it's easy and it's a great style for you to wear with your natural hair with your afro if you're going to be in a situation where it's hot it's humid it's going to be raining outside you're going to come in, your hair is going to come in contact with water or you know you're going to be you know perspiring or sweating if you're exercising working out whatever the situation may be or you just don't feel like uh, you know fighting against what your hair does naturally and you want to embrace your shrinkage uh, the teeny weeny afro is another styling option for your natural hair so I just want to thank you for joining me for Natural Styles, uh, Styling Options for Your Natural Hair, sponsored by Sharpen Your Skills, Continuing Education and Salon. I'll see you next time.